Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. Hope you all had a happy new year and happy holidays. Uh, today we're going to dig into a little bit of slink maintenance and how to assemble slinks. Slinks are the soft links that attach the riser to the lines. Pretty important, every parachute needs them. Some type of hard link or soft link. We here at PD, we make soft links, so we'll show you how to use them and how to hook them up. Okay, so let's take a look at this link here. Uh, you can see that the lines are on the soft link. This is one that has not been done up yet. We're gonna go through how to assemble it and then we'll take a look at one that's assembled so you have an idea of uh, what it should look like. So first off, the link needs to go through the riser webbing and then it needs to double back around through every point. So it's gonna go back through the lines, which I'm gonna do right now. And there's probably easier ways to do it using like a hemostat or a rigor seal thread to get it through these lines. But for this case, I'll just demonstrate it like this. So I'm just doubling it up, making sure that it's going through each one of the lines. I'm not missing any, haven't skipped any. So now it goes through the lines twice, and then I've got to take this loop end, pass it back through the riser, and then I'm going to pull it to that side. So they're both on the same side. From here, the next thing we want to do is take this loop, put it through this hole at the bottom of the tab, and then go around the tab. You want to make sure that the loop is not just over the tab, that it does go through the bottom of the tab. That's a really important part. So I'll take this, pass it through the bottom of the tab. I'll spread the loop a little bit and pass it right over the top of the tab. And then from there, just kind of pull on everything, get it nice and cinched up. <clears throat> and then you want to also make sure that your tab sits in this nice little uh, webbing right there, tucked away. Uh, what that does is it prevents it from being a snag hazard. If you notice that your, your slink's starting to rotate and oftentimes this tab is sticking out to the side, what can happen is the uh, steering line excess can come undone from the keeper around the back and it can get caught around this tab or another line can get hung up around it. Either way, I'm sure you can see how that could be a problem. So either take, a, take some, some super tack and go ahead and tack that tab down in there or have a rigger do it or take some tape and just tape around the top of the riser there. That'll also help to keep that tab tucked away in there. Some gaffer's tape is always the best bet. Uh, and then just so that you can see what a, a done up one should look like, if you're examining your own, make sure that the slink goes through both the lines and the top of the riser twice. The loop is through the bottom hole and then around the tab. There you go. One more thing to take a look at is if you are the type of jumper that uh, prefers to have an additional guide ring at the top of your riser, Sometimes we see people attach the additional guide ring to their slink right here. That can, pre that can uh, cause two issues. The first is that with that additional ring here and you running your steering line through it, you're actually adding friction to the slink area and also to the sensitive part of the lines. So it could uh, cause premature wear on the slink as well as the lines from that added friction. It can also damage your slider grommets by the slider coming down and hitting a metal ring right here. So we recommend uh, only using an additional guide ring if it's done in a proper way. Normally riser manufacturers will sell it where it's attached additionally kind of down in this area rather than at the slink. That's just gear maintenance, gear awareness. And we wanted to finish with this, just a little reminder that this is getting into rigging work. And if you are not sure of this, if you're uncomfortable with it, go talk to a rigger. Riggers should know how to assemble slings, hook this up, uh, inspect it, everything like that. Uh, it's also smart to just go learn from them, right? Pick their brain and get their knowledge on how these things work. Um, so again, if you are not comfortable with this, don't try it. Go talk to a rigger first. They're your best bet for information and you wanna make sure that you get this stuff right, but this is just for your knowledge. Cool, thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week with another Tip Tuesday, and um, bye. <laughs>